So DJI has sent us their new smartphone gimbal, the OM5. I have beside me the OM4, and as you can see, it's sizably bigger, but there are some nifty new features, or very cool new features with the OM5. Now, just out of the box, or off the box, I'm gonna read uh, some of the features that they have here. Um, the DJI OM5 has got short guides, it's portable and foldable, so that's no different from the OM4. Uh, it's got a magnetic design, which this had as well. It has the three axis stabilization, active track 4.0, and a new feature which I think is very cool and um, will save you a little bit of money is a built in extension rod. So we're gonna see what you get inside the box. This is the DJI OM5 out of the box. Now, sitting right beside the OM4, it is lighter, it is much sleeker and slimmer, but that being said, it doesn't feel like it's any less, well, well-built. If you take a look over here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but you've got the metal hinge, and even the bars and the arms actually feel slightly more solid than the slightly bulkier OM4 does. So the OM5 on the first impression, first look just now out of the box, does feel lighter, but it does also feel, funny enough, sturdier. In the box, you have the usual suspects such as your charging cable, um, the carrying strap, yeah, you've got a carrying strap, as well as a nice little bag for you to keep this scratch proof and safe. You also have the magnetic grip, which allows you to put your smartphones and attach that to the gimbal. It's a very strong magnet. And so, you know that once you have it on, your phone is pretty much safe. It also comes with a riser pad for smaller phones and over here, what's listed is uh, for a riser pad for small phones such as the iPhone 7, the 8, the iPhone SE 2, Samsung S8, and etc. So for smaller phones such as that, you can put the riser pad in here and it will fit those phones as well. The other new cool feature about the DJI OM5 is the built-in extension rod. Now you don't need to go and buy a brand new, or sorry, a separate rod just to take that selfie, reach that height, or go for that angle that you want. For the DJI OM4, I had to purchase an extension rod like this, but the OM5 has it built in. What it also means is it's one less thing you need to worry about. One thing that I do find is missing when compared to the DJI OM4 versus the OM5 is that little magnetic grip that we used to have or that you got as part of the OM4. 
Now this was a ring clip, it, was, it basically performs the same job as this clasp but with the OM4, the OM4, I received this included in the box as well, in the package. And what this meant was I could always keep this magnet, this handy little magnet at the back of my phone, but it is a strong little magnet. So depending on what you feel and how you feel about magnets being so close to you all the time, it's something you might or might not want. But if you do have it, it works seamlessly with the OM5. So that's it, that's the new DJI OM5 out of the box. First impressions, I really like it. I love the fact that uh, it feels sturdier, it is lighter, and well, the extension rod that's built in. And you know, it feels pretty solid as well. Ah, yep, lock it in. We're gonna do a complete review on the DJI OM5 and look out for it on Just Saying Asia. Thank you and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching another video from Just Saying Asia. Please, uh, if you like our content, like the page, uh, like us, subscribe, and leave a comment. We really want to hear what you have to say, and we'll be happy to answer your comments and your questions as well. So stay tuned, and see you in the next video.